Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. Hi, everybody. We're still celebrating Easter. And the good news that God loved us so much, he sent his son to show us the way to heaven. And Jesus loved us so much that he died for us. And we're celebrating that love. Your mom and dad love you and your family, your grandmas and grandpas, Mrs. Vogt loves you and misses you. And I hope you're learning that song along with me about Jesus loves me. He loves us. That's why he brings the rain and new life in springtime to us too to show us that there's always new life and change all around us. Let's look over here to Vincent Vampire Bat. I've got a fun activity today. Do you remember that we learned this week was letter V, Vincent Vampire Bat. Someone named Olivia in our morning class. Olivia, you have the little V in your name, don't you? And Mrs. Vote has the big V in her name, Vote. Vincent Vampire Bat. V Vincent Vampire Bat. V we'll sing our zoophonic song with all our zoo letters in just a minute. But first, let's play a little game with Vincent Vampire Bat and all the objects that were in Vincent Vampire Bat's letter tub for letter V. Now today I did something really funny. Look down here. Under the velvet, remember that purple velvet, it's so soft, it's beautiful material, that's soft. This is purple velvet. And here's Vincent Vampire Bat, he's soft too. And there's the V for Vincent Vampire Bat. All the things under the velvet, well, I can't say all the things. Some of the things say v, but some do not. Some of these things belong here. Some of these things begin with v. Some of these things begin with v, but some things do not. So we have to figure out which things belong with v and which things don't belong. All right, can you tell me which ones Let's put the book down for just a minute and look, it's kind of like a magic show, isn't it? There's things hiding under here. Hey, look who's visiting with us today. Bubba Bear B. Katina Cat. K. Katina Cat. K. Bubba Bear B. And who is this? Allie Alligator. Allie Alligator A. Ah. There's the letters A. B, C, there's their tubs. Now some of the things under the velvet begin with their sounds. So we have to figure out which things stay with Vincent Vampire Bat. So let's look, I'm gonna go, if you were here, I'd have you pull one magic thing out. Let's pull something out. Ooh, it's a little basketball, a b ball a bouncy basketball. Does that sound like v Vincent Vampire ba b Ball? No, it does not sound like v b Does it go with b b bear b Katina. Oh, you're right. It is b b bear's b b b bear ball. All right, let's put our hand under here and find something else. V volcano, v volcano, 
volcano goes with Vincent Vampire, doesn't it? Volcano. Remember, volcanoes explode from the earth. They're like a big mountain with hot red lava coming out. And volcanoes were all, all over the earth when the dinosaurs lived. Volcanoes. That's a V. Very cool V thing. Let's see. Let's reach under here. Oh, what else? Can I? Oh, I'll get that. Oh, there's things sticking out. Get it back in there. Mmm. Cookie. K cookie. Does that say v k k cookie? No. Who does it go with? You're right, Katina Cat. K k cookie. K cookie. Katina Cat. Letter C for cookie. Good job. Let's pull something else out. Ooh. There's that big van. 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 That sounds like Vincent Vampire Bat. You're right. That was in his tub yesterday. That goes in Vincent Vampire Bat's tub. Let's see what else we have. Ba bell. Bell. Ba. Ba ba bear ba. Ba ba bear is B, isn't it? Bell ball. Do you hear that ba at the beginning? You're very good at hearing the sounds at the beginning. Ba bell. Let's pull something out. Ooh, yummy red apple. Apple. Does that sound like apple? Alley alligator apple. Which one is alley alligator? Ah, there you are, alley alligator. A, the first letter of the alphabet. A B C D. A is alley. Then we say Bubba, Katina, Cat. Alley is always first. Let's see. Oh. Alley alligator. Alley alligator. Ah. Alley alligator. Ah. Good. Let's see if we can find something hiding under here. Oh. Vest. V vote. Vest, Vincent Vampire Bat, Vest. You remembered that from the tub yesterday, didn't you? Oh, I see a little letter sticking out. That's the V, isn't it? That's Olivia's little V in her name. There's that little V in Olivia. What else is hiding under here? Oh, what's this? Caterpillar. He doesn't want to crawl very good, does he? There, he's tired. C -c caterpillar. C -c cookie. Letter C, like Katina Cat. Oh, he's going to crawl right off there. Did he move again? Oh, Katina Cat. Cookie. Katina Cat. C caterpillar. Good job. Oh, what else? Is there anything? Vase to put your flowers in for mom or dad. Vase. Or grandma's love flowers. Vase goes with Vincent Vampire. Is there any? Oh, here's the big V for vote. The most important beginning of vote is V. Turn that red. Is there anything? Oh, there's a couple things under here. Visor. Remember, it's a little part of a hat, and it can stick right on over your eyes. Visor. Visor. That's probably a new word for lots of you kids. And here's that old video camera. It used to be a way to make movies long ago, and a video camera. 
video camera. Let's see, is there anything? No, just the velvet. Just the beautiful velvet for V. Thank you for playing that game with me. That was fun, wasn't it? Now, if you were here, you guys would get to pull things out from under there, wouldn't you? But when you're not here, at least we can play it together. And that's a fun way to do it. Our other zoo pets are still here. Q R S T U V. Let's come up here to our big, beautiful zoo pets alphabet and sing what we know so far. Ali Bubba Katina Cat D D Deer and Elephant Francie Fish and Gordo too. They all live at the zoo. Honey Horse and Innie Who? Jellyfish and Kangaroo. Lizzie, Missy, what a crew. They all live at the zoo. Nigel, Olive, Octopus is sweet. Pee Wee, Penguins, Tux is neat. Queenie, Quail, her babies too. They all live at the zoo. Robbie, Rabbits, in a stew. Sammy, Snake, and Timmy, too. Umber, Vincent, what a crew. They all live at the zoo. And if we keep going, some of you know Willy Weasel. See his long tail. Xavier, Fox. Yancey, Yak, just talks and talks. Zeke, the zebra, welcomes you. Come meet us at the zoo. Zeke the zebra welcomes you. Come meet us at the zoo. We're almost finished. We're almost to Z. Look at that. We've, we've met all the letters up to V. That's pretty amazing and fun. Look how smart you're getting. All right, back we come over here to our story. We did our letters, and now we have a really funny story about the teeny weeny tadpole. You're gonna like this story today. Do you see the picture of the tadpole? Well, there's a lot of tadpoles in the eggs. Look at that one. The teeny weeny tadpole. I wonder what's gonna to happen to that teeny weeny tadpole. Do you wonder too? Do you wonder if he will grow to a frog? Do you think there's a problem in this story? Is something going to happen? Usually in stories, there's a problem, isn't there, that, that we have to learn about in the story. This is written by Sheridan Kane and illustrated by Jack Tickle. Isn't that a funny last name? Tickle. His, he did all the pictures, Jack Tickle. That's funny. That tadpole looks pretty happy. Jack Tickle drew those pictures, and those are cute little tadpoles. Oh, here's the tadpole coming out of the egg. Oh, look at his face. Ooh. The teeny weeny tadpole swam in and out of the lily pads. Splish, splash. Hello, my busy little tadpole, said Mommy Frog. It's such a nice day for splashing and leaping. There's the big mommy frog. Oh, look, here are our eggs. And there's one tadpole. And there's the lily pad. There's a ladybug on the lily pad on top of the pond, on top of the water. Boing, boing, flippity flop. Mommy frog jumped high into the air. She landed with a plop. I can do that, said the teeny weeny tadpole, and he tried to leap onto a lily pad. All he managed was a splish and a splash. Now Mama's good at jumping, isn't she? She's a beautiful frog. Mom, why can't I jump like you? asked the teeny weeny tadpole. Oh, you will, Tadpole, said Mommy Frog. Just keep splishing and a splashing. The teeny weeny Tadpole swam 
off down the stream. Be careful, Tadpole, cried Mommy Frog. Look out for the big bad fish. And see how those other tadpoles are waiting to hatch. Oh, she said, look out for the big bad fish. I wonder, do you? What will happen? Will he run into the big bad fish? Good readers always wonder. The teeny weeny tadpole wiggled his way to the edge of the stream to splash among the water lilies. He looked up and saw a woolly face with a smudgy nose. Hello, said the tadpole. Who are you? I'm a lamb, said the woolly-faced animal. Can you jump? asked the tadpole. You bet, said the lamb. Watch this. In springtime, lambs are born. Baby sheep are lamb. Let's see if he jumps. Boing, boing, springity sprung. Lamb jumped high into the air. He landed with a boing. Oh, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, said the lamb. Soon you will. He's going to grow and change, isn't he? I think so, too. A few days later, the teeny weeny tadpole paddled downstream to where the violets tickled his tummy. He looked up and saw a twitchy nose and the largest pair of ears he'd ever seen. Hello, said the tadpole. Who are you? Did you hear that noise? That was the caterpillar over there just starting to go. He wiggled just as I was reading the story. That scared Mrs. Bolt. We better get back to our story. That was strange. Hello, said Tadpole. Who are you? I'm the rabbit, said Twitchy-nosed animal. Can you jump, said the Tadpole. Can I jump, said the rabbit. Watch this. And we know rabbits can hop, don't we? Whoa, let's watch this. Boing, jumpity, jump, jump, jump. Rabbit jumped high into the air. Rabbit landed with a thump. Wow, said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole. Very soon, you will. I wonder if those animals are right. Will tadpole be able to jump someday? Several days later, the teeny weeny tadpole swam out to where the tall grasses waved in the wind. He saw a pair of bug eyes and two springy legs. Hello, said tadpole. Who are you? Well, I'm a grasshopper, said the buggy eyed creature. Can you jump, asked tadpole. Well, of course, said the grasshopper. Watch this. They're called grasshoppers because they like to hop in the grass, right? Grasshopper jumped high into the air. Boing! Hippity hop! Grasshopper landed with a bop. Whoa! said the teeny weeny tadpole. I wish I could jump like that. Oh, you will, tadpole, said grasshopper. Very soon you will. Those animals all love to hop, don't they? The next time the teeny weeny tadpole went exploring, he swam far out to where the stream widened and the water became still. Tadpole looked down and saw a pair of huge rubbery lips. Hello, said tadpole. Uh, who are you? Hello, boomed the rubbery-lipped creature. I'm the big bad fish. And I eat tadpoles. Oh, no. Look, there's a little egg right there. Tadpoles.
The big bad fish chased the teeny weeny tadpole up and down and in and out. All oh, the weeds getting closer and closer. <gasps> Look at that big mouth. Oh no. Do you notice something about the tadpole? Wait a minute. Let's go back one page. <gasps> Look at the tadpole. Did you notice that? The tadpole changed, didn't he? Is he a froglet? Does he have legs? <gasps> Getting closer and closer came the fish to the tadpole. Until, boing, 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 the teeny weeny tadpole leaped high into the air, higher than the lamb, higher than the rabbit and higher than the grasshopper. He leaped all the way home. Look, Mommy, said Tadpole. I can jump just like you. His mother smiled proudly. Of course you can, my frog, my little sweet frog. They all said he would someday. Were they right? The end. All those little eggs, the tadpoles will hatch right on out and become frogs someday. Good thing he turned into a frog just in time, didn't he? So he could hop out of the water and get away from that big fish. We'll see you tomorrow.